Hello, my name is Carrie Cottle and welcome to Read Aloud with Ms. Cottle. Today we are reading the delightful book, Mole Music. Enjoy. Mole Music by David McPhail. Published by Henry Holt and Company. Mole lived all alone underground. He spent his days digging tunnels. At night, he ate his supper in front of the TV and then went to bed. Mole liked his life, but lately he had began to feel there was something missing. One night on the television, a man played the violin. He made the most beautiful music Mole had ever heard. I want to make beautiful music too, Mole said to himself. So the next day he sent away for a violin of his own. Every day, Mole checked his mailbox. No violin. Finally, after nearly three weeks, it arrived. Mole was so excited. He picked up the violin and drew the bow across the strings. But instead of beautiful music, all he made was a horrible screeching sound. Mole tried again. The violin still screeched, but not quite so horribly. Mole kept at it. After about a week, he could play one note, then two. And before a month went by, he could play an entire scale. Mole continued to practice. He learned to put the notes together in a simple song. Years went by. Mole got better and better. He was happier than he'd ever been. During the day as he dug tunnels, Mole hummed the music he would play at night. Now, Mole played even better than the man he'd seen on TV so long ago. Sometimes he wondered what it would be like to play his music for people. He imagined himself playing before a huge audience. He imagined that he played for presidents and queens. He even imagined that his music could reach into people's hearts and melt away their anger and sadness. Why, maybe his music could even change the world. Mole laughed at himself. How silly I am, he thought, imagining that my music could do all that when no one has ever even heard it. Mole played one more song and put down his violin and went to sleep and dreamed beautiful, peaceful dreams. That was Mole Music. Do you know one of the things I love most about this book is that playing the violin not only enriches the life of Mole himself, but of those around him. I mean, just look. Think about the the tree in the beginning of the book, what it looked like, and then what it looked like at the end of the book, right? 
because Mole lived under this tree and learned how to play violin and grew as a creature culturally and, and connected to this art form. But not only did the tree grow and grow and change, but the people around, they did too. That is the effect that you have when you get connected to some sort of art form and then you share it with the world. You not only enrich yourself, but you enrich the world around you. So ask yourself, what is it that you do to make yourself whole, to connect with some sort of art? What would you like to try to do? There's no time like today. Go for it. Work hard. Because remember, when you just start learning how to do something, you might end up with a tree like this. It might be kind of funky, right? But by the end, look at what you can do. You can do anything. I believe in you. Most importantly, take care of each other.